Do you have any advice for uh, like a, aspiring voice actors who are trying to get into the industry? Not that I want to you know, steal your jobs, but uh, <laughs> just, you know. No, don't. Uh, advice, where do you live? Uh, here, Mississauga. Okay. Toronto. Uh, so you're in a, a good major center. That's yeah. in your favor. Um, the most important thing that I would suggest is learn how to act. Don't focus on the voice or the funny voice or the silly voice or the crazy, you know, listen to my voices. Learn how to act. And that means plays, workshops, any kind of, anywhere you can take a class, that's, that's step one. And then there's lots of detail about voiceover specifically after that. Yeah, I, you know, and then uh, once you've got some of that training, you, you need a good agent. Yeah. You know, this is thing like people ask me in music too, you know, well, you got to have a manager because it's, you know, it's different, you know, not a manager in this and the voiceover thing, but you, but you, the, the proper agent, somebody that you can get along with and someone that will, you know, work for your side. But it's what, what, what Ian said about, about acting is, is so important because I started out in theater, you know, when, when I was a kid and uh, it, it evolved and I, really I got into the voice thing. I had gone in to sing a jingle. And, and somebody didn't show up to do the, to do the voice. They said, oh. "Well, Jim, you can speak pretty well." So I and I did the voice, <laughs> and suddenly I had something yeah. I could put on tape and, and give to people. And the agent said, "Oh, we'll start sending it around." And work grew up. So. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>